What's going on, beast? So I got this question from Anthony saying that I'm struggling to get stronger because my back is so sore and tired. What are some exercises you recommend I do in order to strengthen this? So I'm gonna give you two exercises, Anthony, that you can start implementing right now in order to strengthen up your upper back, which most likely that's what's really, really weak on you. Uh, and I'm gonna give you one magical exercise and another one that will be a lot more difficult, but I think you're gonna get a lot of benefit if you start implementing it right now. So let's go. So I've set up a bar right here, and the first exercise that I want you to do is what it's called an inverted row. There's other names such as Australian, uh, Australian pull-up and uh, upside down push-up, uh, but essentially you're just doing a row with your own body weight. And I suggest that you start off your workouts doing this and also finish your workout doing two to three sets of eight to 10 reps, depending on your level. And uh, this is really gonna strengthen the upper back. If you're also struggling with pull-ups, this exercise is gonna strengthen you so much so you can do your first pull-up. So I'm gonna show you how it's done and I'm gonna show you three progressions for it. The uh, first progression and the one most likely you're gonna start off with is with your feet extended. Just get your hips up, and then you're just gonna pull up. Keep pulling up, go all the way down, and pull up. Try to touch your chest to the bar. The uh, next progression after that, is, which is gonna add more uh, body weight, is just gonna be with one feet extended. So keep one planted on the ground and the other one extended. So it'll be like this, and again, just all the way up to your chest. Two sets, eight reps, start with that, you're gonna be good. And then, ideally you wanna progress to having full feet extended. This is gonna challenge your core as well. So, feet extended, chest up, pull your chest to the bar. You can even hold it on top for a little bit. But this exercise is really gonna strengthen that upper back, which most likely, it's weak on you, just uh, either due to lifestyle patterns, such as going to school and being hunched over. So give those a try, they're gonna be magical for you. I uh, personally got injured earlier this year, in January, and I was not able to do pull-ups, so, the only exercise that I focus for to keep my strength on my upper back was the inverted row. So it doesn't matter how advanced or beginner you are, this exercise is gonna have a lot of benefit, uh, not just for uh, strengthening your upper back, but to do other exercises such as a pull-up and ultimately advance to a muscle-up, develop that strength and musculature that you need in the back in order to just be explosive. So eat those like crazy. Do them uh, before your workout. Two sets of eight is a like, good reps and sets to start off with. And you can also finish your workout with the same. Two sets of eight reps. If you implement this, give it two, three weeks, uh, you're gonna start feeling a lot stronger in your upper back. Your chest is gonna go up, your posture is just gonna improve, and uh, you're gonna start to develop a lot more muscle in your back. Let's move on to exercise number two, and this one's one of my favorites, and uh, it has a lot to do with the shoulders. Let's move. The other exercise that I want you to do is gonna be a handstand, and I'm gonna show you how to do it against the wall. This is the only progression that I want you to focus on. Um, it might be tough for you if you're a beginner just to have the strength, but it's just gonna develop a lot of shoulder stability and strength that is necessary in order to strengthen that back. So, let's flip upside down, and I'll show you how it looks. First thing is you wanna lose the fear of being upside down, but uh, if you can just hold this anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds, build up to it, of course. Uh, your shoulder, your upper back, your traps, just you doing these scapular movements will uh, strengthen your upper back a lot. So that's it, man. Uh, implement the inverted rows, two sets of eight reps, before and after your workouts, and uh, do the handstands at home. You don't have to do those at the gym, but just practice practice kicking up to the wall, and uh, get good at holding that 
handstand hold for 10 to 30 seconds and more if you can. If you can only do five seconds in the beginning, that's totally cool. Uh, just progress at your own level. This is not a race. Uh, uh, strengthening uh, those little muscles in the back that are so neglected by many people is essential and these two exercises will help you achieve that. So hope you like that. Hope this is available to you. And if you have any more muscle building strength questions, drop them below and I'll answer them. With that said, attack life, get stronger, let's go!